So ladies and gentlemen, this is kind of a weird uh, podcast update about a, not say about a year and a half ago, but close to it. I did a podcast on the career of my good friend and colleague and uh, uh, great all-around guy, good friend of mine, Gordy Dwyer, former Montreal Canadian who graduated from the Q to play a number of years of pro in the uh, NHL, AHL and other uh, pro leagues, went on to Europe uh, to coach in the KHL coaching the Maritime Hockey League, coaching the Q. Um, good news is, uh, probably you've already heard through TVR and different outlets across Canada, TSN, he's returned to the Q League after just wrapping up a short stint as uh, Team Canada's Youth Olympic uh, Hockey Coach in Switzerland, uh, recently where he won bronze. He's a no, new coach of the, uh, the classic and uh, storied franchise, the Schwedigan Cataracts in the... Uh, Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Spoke to him about 20 minutes uh, tonight, uh, 20 to February. He's very, very pleased to be close to the home for his family, his beautiful wife, his children, his friends, his extended family in Dalhousie region in Nackwick. And uh, Gordy seems to be extremely, extremely dedicated to the next few weeks in riding the ship on Shawinigan. They've won three of their last four games. They've had a kind of a rough go of that this year. There's been a lot of, uh, you know, management and coaching changes to the Story franchise <coughs> over the last number of years. But if anybody knows the Q, uh, Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, one one year you could be out of it, the next year back in it because of the quality of players. Now, Shawinigan has good management, good support staff, good young players. Uh, their chances of making the playoffs uh, are going to be very difficult. They're, they're looking up, as he likes to say. But Gordy wanted me to tell all his fans uh, throughout uh, Canada and the world that uh, he's appreciative of all the support. See, we always think amongst the media in New Brunswick, especially who've covered Gordy like I have for over two decades, he'd be a perfect fit for the NHL. And being in the queue is uh, one step back to having a chance for an NHL team or uh, to uh, look at Gordy as a possibility as a staff member, either associate, assistant or a head coach. Gordy would be a good fit uh, for a lot of teams. He has the experience. Uh, age is on his side. He's only his early 40s. He's been given uh, for over three decades the hockey in every facet. But what uh, what I've, I heard in uh, the conversation with Gordy, he's extremely, extremely happy to be back in the queue. He played in the queue. Uh, you know, he coached. He's had great success. Uh, a lot of alumni he played against have gone on to great careers. And uh, being, a, you know, an Acadian uh, from uh, New Brunswick, especially for North Shore, to be part of something that has, strong, has a strong uh, maritime connection because of the current Q teams from the Maritimes. Uh, he's got a game coming get in against the Acadie Bathurst Tita. Uh, fans up, uh, up home should take a look on that. Should be interesting. In, to, my, to my memory... Uh, it's one of the few times a New Brunswick uh, base coach has coached at uh, the Casey Irving Center for a Q team. It doesn't happen every day. Uh, there should be more New Brunswick uh, head coaches in the Q, but you know Gordy was one of the uh, one of the most prominent when he was in uh, the Rocket in Charlottetown uh, for a while. So again, uh, I'm trying to set up a set of interviews with uh, uh, BNI, the Irving Papers to the Bugle Observer, possibly the Gleaner and the Calvinton Tribune because Gordy has a lot of family and friends. Take a look at that. I'm working on that tomorrow. But for all the fans uh, of Gordy Dwyer, all the fans of Shawinigan, all the fans of uh, Montreal Canadiens alumni because he's a former Montreal Canadian, this is awful good news. Uh, we were waiting for Gordy to come home after those seasons in you know, the KHL and the Swiss League coach and internationally, Spangler Cup, stuff like that. Uh, it's good to have him home because, you know, he's a maritime, he's a maritime boy. He's always going to be. So again, uh, if you want to find out what's going on with Gordy and Schwinnigan, there's been a lot of interviews posted, a lot of uh, media outlets have been covering it because this is probably one of the best good news stories of 2020 regarding alumni of uh, the Montreal Canadiens, of the AHL, uh, you know, of, uh, you know, the Q, what I call the glory years of the Q in the 1990s going into the 2000s. So again, on this uh, chilly February 20th, we can always say, just like the Rock said, I can't do a Rock personation. 
finally, Gordy Dwyer has come home. So, Gordy, you and your family, welcome back, brother. And let's hope this is a one more step towards what the gods have predicted and I have predicted for you. You're going to make the NHL as a coach and be one of the few people in New, Brun in New Brunswick history to play in the NHL and to coach in the, in the NHL. Have a good one. Bye.